this day 230 something it'll say above me and it's a beautiful day today it's bank holiday monday we're going to celebrate this gorgeous day by going up that transporter bridge it's open for one day or maybe two days a year and this is one of the days and we only live around the corner for it so we're going to make the most of it it opened about half an hour ago and there's people up it already and look i've set something up so you can see all right, let's have a look and see if we can see anyone. I don't know, can you see anyone there at the moment? Pan across a little, maybe. But there are definitely people up there. <laughs> that looks a bit stupid there, I think I might take it inside. Wakey, wakey, Beverly, if you got up early, I wouldn't film you naked in bed. <laughs> can you see now you've got your x-ray specs on? Is Gemma up? No, Gemma's not up, but I set my camera up in her room. <laughs> hurry up, I'm getting bored, hurry up, I'm getting bored. Breakfast time! <coughs> Chef Cornwell cooks spaghetti and eggs for breakfast. Yum! That was a pretty decent way to start the day, wasn't it? Are you taking your camera bag and stuff with you? Yes. Okay, I might do too. I think it would be a good idea to put a jumper on because we're going quite high up. Here we go on our trek. Bev's got a camera bag and a jumper on. Gemma's got a jumper too. I might have brought myself a nice little selection of lenses as well. The weather couldn't have timed itself better. It's beautiful today. Really blue skies and it's hot sun. And being a bank holiday, I reckon a lot of people are going to wake up with sunburn tomorrow morning. Looks pretty quiet up there at the moment. I could count about 10 people up there. It crosses over the River Usk. This is the River Usk. And surprisingly, the actual transporter tram thing is working today as well, even though you can go up it. It's all right down here at the moment, but I reckon it's going to be pretty windy up there. I won't be able to film. Ah, uh, pretty. Thanks, Jen. Six pounds. Six pounds, not really much. It's just been a difficult this leg here now. Across the pool. Quality, so we get a little ride on the tram thing as well. He called it a gondola though. Oh, how many steps? 288, 289, 300. Hello. It's a carnival float going past. There's a carnival in Pill today. We might go see that as well. I can imagine it'd be about as fun to watch as a car crash. It's rather unnerving being behind our ass. Oh, I don't much like heights and we're quite high up. I'd much prefer it if you were leading the way up, Bev. Yeah. I've made Bev go in front so she can take the danger spot. That's loads better. <laughs> we're even higher up now. We can see the whole of Pill. We can even see our house from up here. I'll show you in a bit. It's actually not that windy up here. It's a little bit, but not too bad. How many frigging stairs is there? That there, these wires that hold in the gondola is making my legs shake. This whole thing's held together by wood. Oh babe, my legs have gone all funny. Now I know it's made out of wood at the top. And wow, we're at the top. This is it. Hello Lloyd, this must be your brother. Because he looks just like you, but not as ugly. Hi Lloyd's brother. No missing tooth either. Wowie. Nice shadow there of the whole bridge. Trust to find Lloyd up here. He's everywhere in Newport, isn't he? That's how the gondola works, that's mad. It looks so unsafe. <laughs> What's going on with all the danger music I can hear? It's a bit worrying. Oh, I don't like walking on this. I don't want to drop my phone either. Oh, it's really windy. We went up pretty much every tourist attraction in Europe, and this is the scariest out of all of them. Bloody hell, it's really windy, I'm sorry about that, but that bridge over there, the Oyster Bridge, that's just next to our house, which is just down there. Look at this guy coming past, he reckons he's well hard. Yeah, 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 I struck across the bridge, yeah, yeah, yeah. Babe, do you reckon you'd die if you jumped in the water here? Because James Bond can do it. Some people say water's heavier than concrete, is that right? What is this myth? Can someone explain it to me? So these are the wires holding the whole thing up. Ooh. Good job we don't get no fat ones. <laughs> <laughs> Good job we don't get no fat ones. <laughs> <laughs>
This little shack, which is obviously where someone worked once upon a time, is held up by wood. This is fantastic, isn't it? And we've got a carnival later on. Newport today is great. <laughs> this is like one of the best tourist attractions I've been on all summer. It's only two quid and it's a shame that it's only open once or twice a year during bank holidays. The car ferry's going past again. I can feel it wobbling the whole thing. This is so scary. Look at these wires moving. It's really vibrating. Ah! Oh, Lloyd was just telling us that the bridge contracts when it moves. Something remarkable is happening. I'm taking photos. I think it's to calm my nerves because I hate taking photos on tourist attractions. I'm up here on my own now and the gondola's coming back in the other direction. There's Gemma and Bev right over there at the other side. I've sat down to watch it pass. It's amazing really. I'd give you some more facts about it but that's what Wikipedia's for so go and look yourself. Oh, that's what we just walked across. I feel much safer over this side. What are you doing? Taking a picture for our memories? Yes. Danger, risk of electric shock. But which bit is the danger? Where? What am I not allowed to touch? I've let Lloyd borrow the monster lens. Please don't drop it, Lloyd. What are you taking photos of? My house? So basically, what this transporter bridge acts as is that cars can get across it and get to this road, the other side of the bridge. Which is a bit pointless because just down the river you've got the Oyster Bridge which does exactly the same thing. I don't know why I'm lending in this, he just showed me that he dropped his 75 to 300 yesterday. Look, this is Lloyd's lens and look what he's done to it, he's broken off that bit. What a fool. Lloyd, your lens is useless, I'm going to chuck it off. <laughs> right, it's time to venture down now, we're going to go across on the gondola ourselves. It's steep, deep and scary on these scares. Scares, stairs. That sunshine's still blaring. Wow, you can see right down one of the legs. I really think Newport would benefit if this was open all year long, or at least two or three days a week anyway. I cannot believe we're about to hover across this river. Hold up, Masonator, I'm coming. Oh damn it, he's just closing the gates, we'll have to get the next one across. Oh damn it, there it goes, look, with all its flags, it's hovering. It's got to be about five metres above the sea level there. Caution, Gemma Tremlett's knickers. Apparently we can go up and see the engine room, so I'm going to do that while we're waiting. It's magnificent. Here's the engine room, wow, look at all the cable and stuff, there's a guy in there working. Hello! <laughs> Lloyd, wherever we go, we find him the other side of the barriers. <laughs> well done, Alex. You got a certificate for crossing the bridge. <laughs> we all going across together? Yeah. 357 kilometres to Middlesbrough. Glad I know that. Here it comes, we don't have to pay to go over this, it's brilliant. It's five pounds to go across, have you got a fiver? I worried her for a second there. All these people looking all chuffed because they've drove their car across. I know, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, look at me, I drove my car. <laughs> and all the bicyclists. Come on, I want to get on, it's our turn. <laughs> all aboard! <laughs> Hello. Hello. You look fantastic. <laughs> We're on the gondola. We're crossing the Usk. Well, this is certainly going to be an experience. Are you scared? They've closed the gates and we're heading over. This isn't too bad though, is it? These cables are moving, are they? Yeah. We're actually heading really, really fast across. This is surprising. Oh, we survived the trepid journey across the transporter bridge over Usk. That was good fun, but I want a certificate of my own. Do you enjoy that, kids? It's all go today. There's a Pill Carnival on now, so we're going to head into Pill and see what these floats are like. Oh, I just get the feeling this is going to be joy. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's loads of floats here. Look at this. <laughs> When I was about 10, I was on a carnival float and I fell off and really hurt myself, but that's a story for another day. There's the token grease float. Lloyd, shouldn't you be on the grease float? <laughs> Not surprisingly, Lloyd knows everyone. That's Terry. <laughs> that's Terry. <laughs> it's pretty surreal. Everyone's drinking. Even the eight-year-old kids have got cans of carling in their hands. And we've got the town band right up the front. We're going to wait up the front here, watch all the floats go past, then go get some in a week, because we're hungry, aren't we? And Gemini's feeding too, look. Woo! Lloyd's just told me something very disturbing and shocking, which you're going to have to listen. He doesn't feel very happy about it, so tell us what happened, Lloyd. My car got broken into. When? Last Tuesday. And what got stolen? A tripod got stolen, an MP3 player got stolen, a lens got stolen, a camera got stolen, and it was all in the boot, all hidden? The boot, yeah, hidden. And where was it? It was parked in the Nan's drive. That's horrible. Right in the centre of, like, where you live. Pretty Sorry, nice. man. This is horrible. So, I want flaming torches and pitchforks, straw hats. Everyone's going to go round Hill and Newport and find the buggers who did this to my friend Lloyd. <laughs> I tell you what, for you Lloyd, we'll go around all the second hand shots in Newport tomorrow and see if we can find your stuff. The streets are really starting to fill up now and stood right in the middle of it. Shouldn't you be on the scarecrow float? <laughs> Look at Lloyd there in the centre of the action getting the best shots. Are you taking photos of these pretty girls for wanking material later on Lloyd? Sounds like what a good hardcore track. Hill Gwenly. Hey. Hello. <laughs> what on earth for this lot? Whoa. Whoa. Here's the really spooky float filled with all the clowns. <laughs> they are so scary. But you've taken a wrong turn in. Yeah, this float's got some rhythm. <laughs> this is bonkers. I think the Spanish people have got their music tracks mixed up. Is the Roman float. Ah, oh, the rainbow on the floor, that's really nice. <laughs> oh, this is good, this one's gonna win a prize. It's Spain for you, Netherlands. Jesus Christ, look at the state of this one. <laughs> <laughs> Some really decent community role models around here. Oh, wicked, it's the Pixar Disney truck. <laughs> that's Woody. The Incredibles, that's the best show ever. I'm not really sure what this float is, but it's funny. Some people walking past in morph suits. Uh, coming to the end now. Here's the last one, some security. Now it's all passed, do you want to come and get some food with us? Where have you parked your car, Lloyd? Round the corner. Your car is a true machine. I can't believe I'm about to put my life in Lloyd's hands. What's this car made out of, Lloyd? Tin? Where are you going to take us? Wherever you want. To food? Two places, yes. Come on then, go. I'm quite a brave man, but I must say this is quite scary. No Lloyd, a car rattling like that is not normal. I'll give you one thing Lloyd, you can park your car anywhere because it's so small. Yeah. Just a little note for everyone, today is the last day of free parking in Kingsway Car Park. Something tells me today's video is going to be the longest one I've ever done. 
Well, we're going to have to eat. Lloyd, where should we go? Let's go to my club. What's it called? Lloyd's. Lloyd's? <laughs> Lloyd, Lloyd. I see, we're going to Lloyd's. Are you buying Lloyd? Oh, I'm not sure what to have. What are you having? Lasagna. You? You? I don't care about you. And you've got sausage and mash somewhere. Yeah, do you want the Welsh or the lamb? I want the vegetarian Lincolnshire. I think my brother was going to... got loads of lovely grab here. Really? Well, that's certainly filled a hole. Shall we go home now? Lloyd's been kind enough to offer us a lift home, haven't you, Lloyd? Thanks for the ride, me old fruit. You're a pleasure to drive with. It's so sunny, it's a shame to go back indoors. I think we might stay out, actually. Rather than hang around down here, shall we take Lloyd to the sea wall? He's never been. Yeah. Because it's too dark in it, and Lloyd quite clearly needs some sunlight. That's a cool t-shirt, Lloyd. Looks a little bit too small for you. What was it, size six to eight years? To the sea wall it is, then. Lloyd's living in Newport. How many years, Lloyd? 22 years. And you've never been to the sea wall? No, he hasn't. Disgraceful. It's been a really busy day today, hasn't it? I've never really been a great advocate of Newport, but today I'm showing you all the good things. And Lloyd, in fact, is number four on that list. Beep, beep. It's quite busy here today. Let's see what it looks like up here today. Oh wow, well, all the tide's out and lots of mud there. It's a beautiful day still. Lots of couples walking and sitting, having picnics. And I think I might do the same. This is my picnic. <laughs> Nutritious. I'm trying to persuade Bev to go out and take some photos, but she doesn't want to. Because she's got a licensorship assessment with the RPS for a few months, haven't you? Actually, just over one month. Got to get ten photos ready for it. And with Lloyd, it's more the case that I can't get him to stop taking frigging photos. Lloyd, am I in your way? You are, yeah. <laughs> you taking a self-portrait, Lloyd? I am, yes, I am the black sheep. <laughs> it's not really black, though, is it? It's more brown coloured. Did you see that video where I chucked my phone up in the air really high? Watch this. How'd you like it up here then, Lloyd? It's good fun, isn't it? Yes, I do really love it up here, yes. He always goes all polite when I've got the video camera on. He's usually cursing, blinding, effing, swearing. Eat shit! <laughs> See that little black current floating past? That's Gemma. Lloyd seems to have found himself a new friend. We've taken a few photos of him. He's just sat there with him. I did a nice new Facebook profile for Lloyd. Ah. <laughs> now Bev's taking one of us three, or four actually. Oh. Home time. That was nice meeting that dog. We called him Roger. These summer days out are really fun, but we'll be starting uni again soon, about six weeks, Bev just said. Hands up if you're looking forward to going back to uni. <laughs> I hang around with proper geeks. <laughs> 